What's up? <laughs> Long time, no freaking see. I am in the park right now. I'm actually here with my sister, um, but I went to the bathroom and then I left her <laughs> so I could record this really quick. I have mixed feelings about a lot of things and I thought I would talk to you about it. I have mixed feelings about showing up on YouTube, which is why I haven't been doing it. I have mixed feelings about just life right now, where I'm at. I turned 30. If you sent me some birthday wishes, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It's just, I have mixed feelings about it, right? And for the most part, I feel good. I'm happy I'm still alive. <laughs> I'm happy about the things that are moving in my life. But I do have mixed feelings about some things that are happening or just where I thought I would be in life and all of that. Um, I have new creative ideas and have mixed feelings about starting them, about my ability, about God's ability, all these things. And I'm trying to be as positive as possible about it. But there are moments when I'm like, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> what the heck are you doing? And how, how are you going to replicate what you're doing? And I think that is messing me up because I want to be able to call it that I'll be able to hit over and over and over on the ideas that I have on the impact that I want to have on how I'm connecting with people um, when I first hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube I was like okay this is great I finally did it but how are you going to be able to continue to make videos so that way people feel connected and then I was like well I'm not so I don't want to do it and then I made another video and then another and I'm like I'm not I, got, I kept getting more nervous because I'm like I'm not gonna be able to replicate this every time I do anything that's halfway good <laughs> I'm like how are you gonna be able to do this again when I make it through something or I do something great I'm like that was about a skin of your teeth like are you gonna be able to do it again and of course there's trust in God there's like uh, the reps that I'm getting um, which enables me to have build up trust within myself but I'm just in such uncharted territory in this stage of my life. I'm in such a, a new space, I feel, that sometimes it seems like everything that I'm trying to do is impossible. And it's all at once. And I feel like God wants me to do so much at once. And I'm just like, I, I'm suffocating is how I feel at times. And then I have these little bursts where I'm not suffocating and then I try to do everything at once because I'm like I have a short window here where I can do this and then it's gonna go away I wanted to make this um, I've been doing more like video audio journals um, versus just writing lately and then I thought about it and I was like oh well I could do one for YouTube maybe I do want to check in with y'all I want to see what how y'all are what y'all are doing um, but yeah, I want to be consistent in what I create and how I show up. And um, I like to do that as integral as possible and without being fake. And since I have mixed feelings about where I'm at and what I'm doing and how I show up in the world, I would like to ideally not show up mixed. I want to show up and be like, this is what it is, this is what I'm doing, this is what I create, this is how I show up, this is how I can help you, this is how you can help me. And we move, and I don't have that all the way right now and so that has led me to kind of scale back from some things but that doesn't even feel true to who I am or how I move because I'm not a scale back all the time type of girl you know like I show up and I show out I'm loud and I'm proud I am I have personality y'all know and so I, I miss I miss being me at certain points but also who I am is changing in real time and it's like very abrupt in some areas and it's um, been so progressive in other ones and so I've looked back and I'm like what the freak happened <laughs> um, some things I've made peace with that I've let go of and other things I um, haven't even if I know it's good for me um, and other things that I could get back to like running for example I haven't been doing I can get back to it but I don't even know What's the goal or what am I, like, you know? So I just feel like that in so many areas. And I'm looking at my life like, okay, I thought I was gonna be doing X by this time. There's some things I still wanna do. This year's supposed to be my best year ever, child, and it ain't yet. Um, but then there's also been progress, right? I'm not in the same place. And so how do I continue to make progress? How do I continue to um, take risks and scare myself, but 
they're calculated and they're with wise counsel and they are to put me in a better position. They're to help me scale so I can help other people. Like, how do I do it all? And sometimes it really feels like I've conquered a freaking world, man. And other times it doesn't feel that way. So I've been trying to um, intentional some days and sloth like other days, take time to sit with my thoughts, take time to sit with my journal, take time to sit with my words, take time to sit with nothing, take time to see what feelings bubble up to the top. Like what, where am I in, in a spiritual sense, in an emotional sense, in a physical sense, like where am I at? Um, I had time to, like I said, my sister's in town, so hanging out with her, but then also um, I got to go see some of my best friends in Chicago, and that was great. And so also just trying to enjoy the little pockets of life that I can that don't feel super complicated right now. And um, those, when it was something that's easy like that, and I don't have mixed feelings about, I'm trying to lean in. And then stuff that takes a bit more time, telling myself like babe you have the time and sometimes it really feel like I don't okay um, but when I can convince myself that I have the time I'm trying to take it so that way life is like you know this thing that I can sit with versus something that's taking me by storm all the time I don't know I kind of want to make this for the people I feel like everybody shows up online like everything is straight bruh like I feel like people show up online like they got it all together like they don't never have no conflicting thoughts or they don't never have any points of contention or um well they need space and time right it seems like everybody comes on they want to tell you about this lip gloss because they know this lip gloss is fire they want to tell you about how they made x amount of dollars and x amount of time because all the deals just come to them they want to tell you about the healing that they have because they didn't have to fight for that healing at all they want to tell you about all these things and i think that sometimes i feel like I want to share more actually but I do care about my digital footprint <laughs> and I never want to come off like I have it all together and but I also don't want to come off like I want advice like I don't want advice from strangers all the time so it's like I'm trying to find the balance of like I want to show up as this and keep it all the way funky with y'all y'all know that's how I get down but um I do want to have some stuff together before I show up so it's like a weird space that I'm in right now but I do think I'm also blocking the fact that I'll be able to create more when I just let it ride, let it rock, when I don't have all the answers, when I don't know, the flow kind of unveils from there. So I feel like people can relate to that actually more than some of the content I see where people just know it all and they got it all together. And so I'm telling you, and that's why I'm selling this course. And that's why I have this thing, right? Because I have figured it out. I think that at least for me I could benefit from hearing from, from more from people that are like I do not have this thing called life figured out I do not have all the answers I am grappling with this and I don't think it's necessarily um, always a word vomit or always a trauma dump I think it can just be genuinely hey this is where I'm at today and so um, I took my camera out the house I actually took it with me to Chicago I didn't turn it on not once but today I said yeah I think I'm gonna record in the park I'm gonna find me a spot and I'm just gonna I know I want to talk about mixed feelings and I was like I'm not gonna put any notes with it I'm just gonna see what comes out and that'll be it. it'll be a short and sweet one and this is what I have for y'all today so I have mixed feelings about a lot of stuff and that is I've, I've, I've bought into the lie that if I'm not 100% on everything at once, then I cannot move forward. If I'm not 100% on who I am or how I want to show up and what the impact is going to be on the freaking future, right, then I can't, I need to take more time. And I, I, I'm starting to get that feeling that more time isn't needed. I actually just got to go and use the time that I have. And with the time that I have, I'll get what I'm supposed to get. Hopefully, y'all will be kind with me with this. Um, if not, this is what I got, okay? And um, yeah, more will unfold. I actually can go live on TikTok now. So I want to do that um, and see how I feel there. And yeah, just, just create. I have so much with my career that I want to do. So much with community, with creatives that I want to do. So much with Christian creatives that I want to do. Um, so much as a writer that I want to get back to child like it's just so much stuff and I really be letting it eat at my brain and it pauses me um and I was in a good spot if you look at my videos and stuff I was in a good spot where I was not letting it get me like that um but I regressed a little and so I'm trying to I'm trying to get back to me but also there is no going back to the old me so that's what's weird there's a new me that I'm unlocking 
and it's very uncomfortable. Like, I mean, to the max. Most uncomfortable I've been in a couple years. So, um, yeah, that's a skinny with your girl, but it's, it's gonna feel better as I continue on. Um, we are uh, almost a month into 30, girl. I'm feeling my way around, but I, I, I really do feel like every day that I wake up, every day that I'm breathing, God has to have something for me. Like, he has to, because otherwise we could have been in the ground, you know? So, since I'm alive, there's something, because I keep getting ideas, there's something. Because people keep texting me, um, and they're asking for advice on things there's something because I keep connecting with new people old people there's something because I keep opening my word even though sometimes I'm like am I getting anything from this is all the prayers really gonna happen like you know what I'm saying but I keep going back there's something that I, I fasted and I'm like is what's the point of fat like it's like I keep coming back to it because there's something I don't know what it is I'm praying it's huge. <laughs> um, but I'm telling y'all, this is a hard season. Like, it really is. Like, everything in my life has changed. I'm the brokest I've ever been. I am, um, career-wise, the most insecure I've ever been. And the most, like, unsure of things, right? Um, but then I also feel the most promised with some ideas that I have. And the most, like excited and jovial about some things too and so all of that together is a mixed bag of emotions it's a mixed bag of promise it's a mixed bag of my day-to-day -day. and i'm sitting with it all and i'm trying to sift through right so if i had a bag of balls and like some are blue some are orange some are red some are green i'm trying to sift through and put all my green over here all my red over here all my blue over here so that way i could like quickly get to things that I need and then things that I don't need I can quickly identify them and right now they're all in a bag together they're all mixed and it feels it just feels like I have to be able to quickly call like a game of twister right hand on red left leg on blue and it's like wait what where I can't orient myself some days and um I try not to show up like that especially if people are looking to me for something <laughs> um and I really just want to what my YouTube channel was supposed to be was me just showing a journey and I think I started to feel like just showing a journey wasn't enough I wanted to be an expert in the journey I wanted to tell you where we are going on the journey I wanted to fully articulate my feelings along the journey and I don't have all that especially not every day right now I just don't and so I was like it's okay you could take a beat you could take a break you could do XRZ I'm monetized now and I was like Okay, I don't, I, you can, you don't need YouTube to make, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to just make content just to make it so I can get bread. And that even was feeling good of like, yeah, you monetize, but you're not just pumping stuff out. And that is good. But at the end of the day, I miss showing up on YouTube. I miss certain things. Um, I do think that sometimes it is fun to not be an expert and to try stuff and you don't know what's going to happen. And then people connect with and they comment and whatever. And I've been robbing myself of those things because I don't have it all down. And I have mixed feelings about that. Sometimes I feel like you need to come correct when you're coming online. And other times I feel like people are just watching you have fun. It's fun. So even that, everything, everything is a mixed bag right now. Um, so this video is for the girlies, the cool kids who have a mixed bag, who don't know what the hell is going on who is trying to feel their way around, child, but that they feel like there's some promise, that they feel like there's goodness left, that they haven't expanded um, themselves all the way, that they could spread their wings a bit more. This is for you. And I just want to say that I see you, I hear you, that God has more. And um, my prayer for us today is that God just lets us know that we're seen, that we're heard, that we get a little kiss from him, um, a little wink, a little blink, that the sunset looks different for some reason today or um we get that text that call that email we've been waiting on we get that opportunity we read that verse um and it makes us feel lighter like we get the actual peace of god and that it allows us to go farther than we could have went before so i love you guys thanks for listening and i catch y'all later bye